good afternoon everyone in this video we are going to see about the determination of volumetric oxygen coefficient that is k of la by sodium sulfate oxidation method aim of this experiment is to determine the volumetric oxygen coefficient k of la by sodium sulfate oxidation method principle during the aerobic process oxygen is one of the most important key substrate due to its less solubility with the culture media there is a supply of continuous supply of oxygen is required in the fermenter for effective growth the oxygen transfer rate also known as otr must be predicted to achieve an optimum design and scale up process of bioreactors the dissolved oxygen concentration in a culture broth depends on the rate of oxygen transfer from the gas to the liquid phase the gas liquid mass transfer in a bio process is depend is depends on the hydro dynamic conditions in the bio reactor oxygen transfer is the most important rate limiting steps in the aerobic process the accurate prediction of the volumetric mass transfer coefficient k of la is an important consideration in designing operations and scale up of industrial bio reactors sodium sulfate oxidation method is based on the sodium sulfate a reducing agent with the help of dissolved oxygen to produce sulfate in the occurrence of a divalent cation of copper or cobalt copper et al 1944 na2so3 combines with oxygen to give na2so4 with cuso4 as catalyst in the reactor the concentration of na2so3 at various time points is inversely proportional to the oxygen transport rate kinetics of the above reaction is independent of sulfate concentration the reaction consumes oxygen at a rate that is sufficiently fast so that the transport of oxygen from gas to liquid through liquid flame is the rate limiting step of the reaction rate of reaction is zero order if the limit if the reaction is not fast enough reaction occurs in the liquid liquid flame around the gas flame bubbles this would decrease apparent flame thickness and give incorrect high values of k of la concentration of unreacted sulfate are determined by reacting sulfate with excess iodine and then back titration of iodine with thiosulfate it is most important to notice that dissolved oxygen is zero throughout the reaction k of la equal to rate of sodium sulfate consumption o2 dash minus o2 concentration of o2 is zero concentration of o2 dash is is 8.43 into 10 to the power minus 3 gl for minus 1 oxygen transfer rate that is otr equal to molecules of o2 into 32 divided by time into volume of the reactor so3 2 minus plus i2 gives 2i minus plus so2 so s2 o7 plus i2 gives 2i minus plus so2 materials required first we required 0.1 molarity of na2s2o3 which is sodium thiosulfate then 0.003 molar copper sulfate dot 5h2o which is copper sulfate pentahydrate crystals then standard na2so3 sodium sulfate powder then 0.1 molar of iodine solution then 1 percentage starch starch solution then we look into the procedure first 1 liter of 0.5 molar sodium sulfate solution is prepared then the prepared solution is poured into the fermenter which consists of 0.003 molar of copper sulfate pentahydrate crystals then the supply of oxygen and agitation was given at 300 rpm then we have to collect the samples from the fermenter for every 5 minutes the sodium sulfate concentration was estimated by titration against the iodine solution now we can look for titration first we take burette solution burette solution is 0.1 molar of na2s2o3 sodium thiosulfate solution and then flask solution is 1 ml of na2so3 solution plus 30 ml of iodine solution then 100 ml of 100 microliter ml of starch solution during the titration the color changed to straw yellow the concentration of na2so3 in sample was estimated from the standard curve then the consumption of oxygen concentration was estimated then it is table 1 titrated value of na2s2o3 sodium thiosulfate against the various concentration of na2so3 sodium sulfate concentration of na2so3 in molarity then volume of na2s2o3 in milliliter when concentration is 0.2 volume is 
zero uh, concentration is 0 0.3 volume is 12.3 concentration is 0 0.4 volume is 9.7 concentration is 0 0.5 volume is 8.3 concentration is 0 0.6 then volume is 7.2 which means the value first increases and then decreases in table 2 there will be a calculation of k of la value with respect to the time in this table we can take time interval time in, in an interval of 5 seconds which means 5 10 15 20 like that and then volume of na2 is 3 in milliliter as per the time and then molarity of those of the solution and then oxygen transfer rate then finally k of la which means volumetric oxygen coefficient by ot or oxygen transfer rate divided by 8.43 into 10 to the power minus 3 of minus 3 gl and then we can get these values for table 2 we have calculated a model calculation on the first table we can take the first serial number for the time 5 seconds like that at time 5 seconds we can convert the 5 seconds as 0 0.0833 hours and then volume of Na2 SO3 at 7.6 ml then molarity prediction of the plotting graph is 5, 0 0.56 oxygen transfer rate OTR is calculated by molecules of oxygen into 32 divided by time into volume of reactor and then oxygen transfer rate is equal to 0 0.56 into 32 divided by 0 0.0833 into 2 which is 107.52 then volumetric co oxygen coefficient is k of la is equal to otr divided by 8.43 into 10 to the power minus 3 then we can get k of la at 5 seconds as 1275.4 gl minus 1 kla value of the reactor the mean value is 3085.15 g per h so finally the result is sodium sulfate oxidation method of measuring k of la volumetric oxygen coefficient of the reactor was found to be 3085.15 g h inverse and then thank you for your kind and patience listening a video by team i gautam rajam dakshana murthy s gopi manishankaryam and suresh k thank you for your coordination guys